uh, let me correct this. Uh, let me make this right. Uh, step two is fairly fast. Um, it depends on your um, computer configuration. Like in this case, it took only one minute and 40 seconds. Okay, so that's super fast. Uh, that's because you know all the all the 16 cores in the CPU were in enabled, which is pretty good. Okay, um, once we get to this quality report page, uh, we can just close it. So usually this should have no problem. Uh, yep. <clears throat> So now let's start with step three. Uh, so step three will be very much complicated compared to step one uh, and two. So we also see, uh, see the three uh, tabs here. So the first one is digital surface model and also mosaic. So um, you can tell that the, by default, um, the software will not output the digital surface model and also mosaic uh, we, we actually would prefer that so we would like to check the geotiff merge the tiff files so we check this so that the geotiff files can be merged together as one single file um, don't worry about the template it's fine because we uh, sometimes we we really need this uh, you know also mosaic uh, you know, if if we are making a poster or you know presentation, this is really nice. Okay, uh, now the digital surface model, uh, it's uh, it's uh, not really uh, necessary. It's optional. Uh, so for the demo purpose, uh, I would just check it. But usually, I do not check this. And we we'll go to the additional outputs thing. Uh, so here, like uh, the option optional uh, layer is the uh, digital terrain model. So the difference between the DTM and DSM is the terrain uh, will basically represent the the bare ground, the earth, while the di the digital surface means uh, is the top. Uh, so if you have buildings in the area, the DSM will be including the buildings um, if you are flying over like trees and switch grass you know this will represent the surface of the trees or switch grass while the DTM will represent the the bare ground okay so we can also check that as well yeah. so now comes to the index calculator uh, so um, this is the part that I need to explain. Uh, so to get, you know, the vegetation index, like NDVI, NDRE, etc. So we need a, you know, uh, radio metric calibration that that is to calibrate the the sensor. Uh, you know, our multispectral camera, um, you know, to represent uh, true values. So the so to do that, we need the calibration. Uh, so there's several ways. There are several ways of calibration. So by default, we're going to calibrate the camera itself. Uh, these are just to remove the you know dark current, dark dark corners you know in the camera. We also need to do the sun irradiance. So the sun irradiance is just to do the corrections on the solar radiation you know uh, during the flight so we need to select the calibration file uh, which goes to the folder uh, so typically it's either the first folder or the last folder depending on uh, how we took the panel image it looks looks like a little skewed um, to the side so we are let's check the final folder oh yeah it looks nice so we have one two three four five here so we're going to select the number one first 
uh, it's, you see it's not recognized the value here um, so we, let's let's try to use another one we have plenty okay now you can tell that the software recognize the panel automatically okay and it's because the software is reading the QR code and the information you see for blue is written in that QR code okay and the blue uh, square or polygon is automatically you know uh, drawn on this board which is pretty nice so we repeat this procedure for the remaining four um, bands so now it's green green represents the second a band so let's go to the final folder and select band number two it's also recognized automatically which is good so just click OK and go to the red go to number two band three and click OK and then near infrared go to final folder band four click OK and finally the red edge band go to the final folder and look for band 5 and click OK okay if you see the green check marks you're good to go next and here is very important reflectance map so GeoTIFF is by default checked I would, I would prefer to check the merge tiles so that the map the final map produced will be a large map rather than you know individual tiles and here that's the important part so we would like to output indices okay so by default only the NDVI is checked we would like check all the other index okay indices and export ship file by default is checked it's fine so so far okay, we can just click OK so now we're good to go um, with step 3 well there's something that I would like to say uh, probably in your computer you do not see the other index so how to go is index other index so we go to view an index calculator so as you can see from here number three indices so here is a part that we can actually edit the index so by default anything below CVI is not there so you can see that the logos actually are different so in DVI is provided by pixel 4 d so you can tell the the logo is actually like hard disk drive but CVI anything below that is input by me so you can see they are using like notebook you know um, logo there so how to do that so we just need to hit add and formula so say if we would like to use NDVI so we just click NIR you know uh, minus red divided by NIR plus red and valid formula it says it will it will warn you if there's something wrong with the formula you just click OK then you can tell okay our new equation is added here so now you, you would like to rename it so just click double click on this name name that and NDVI I have already have one so I will name it as NDVI number two okay and just click OK okay so you see that the logo is actually also like notebook 
um, about all the equations, you can get them um, from the uh, any reference paper, or, or you can just copy um, my equation from here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will since I don't need it now. I will remove it. You know, uh, on your computer, you 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 just add them. Now, okay, it's, we are ready to start. Yeah, this will take much longer time. And again, it depends on your computer, the configuration of your computer. So while running it, you can do other some other tasks. The other thing I would like to say is because this usually will take up our uh, take up all your CPU resource what you want to do you, you might want to work on some other projects or some other tasks on your computer so how to do that so we'll, you would really prefer you know to reduce the CPU usage uh, from this software so we go to the resource and notification you can see that CPU thread 16 cores are all enabled and RAM 32 gigabytes are all enabled so to release some resource for other applications you can reduce the RAM size and CPU cores and just click OK okay so because I'm running the this task now it's great out but for you know if you are if it's uh, you can do this before running uh, step number three Okay, let's wait until uh, we finish number three.